Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining as we go through the solution for question 7 on the May-June 2023 CSEC Mathematics Paper 2. It's our pattern and sequence question, one of those favorite questions that we like to do. So let's get rolling with it. Let's notice the pattern here in our diagram. We see a sequence of diagram designs are made using black disks and white disks. The first three designs are shown. So these things you need to look for patterns. So notice that there's three in the first at the base here, then four in the second and five in the third. So we need to make six, three, four, five. So let's go six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And those will be our six disks at the, at the base of the diagram. Now look here going up, we notice we have one here, then two there, then three there. So notice we need to have four to continue the pattern. At the top of the diagram, notice we have one white disc. So let's put in our one white disc there. And these sections are filled out with white discs. So we just fill out these with white discs. And that is our design and perhaps the easiest marks you're going to have they're going to get <laughs> on the paper let's continue with the question here we have the number design here we have the number of white discs the number of black discs and the total number of discs so some of the information is filled out <clears throat> again when you're doing this question these type of questions you have to look for patterns it's called patterns and sequence for a reason so here we have one, notice it's one times one, two, two times two, three, three times three. Also we're doing one, two, three, so we're adding the same number that's here. So by the time we get to N, and usually in this, these type of questions, I like to go straight to the pattern and get it um, over with so that we can use it if we need to. So because of what is going on here, three is three times three, two is two times two, one is one times one, so N is going to be n times n plus n since the same number is added plus one and that gives us when you multiply it out simplify it n square plus n plus one so this is interesting nice pattern there um let's try and fill in the others in this um column that needs filling out so nine here would be nine times nine plus nine plus one and 9 times 9 is 81, 81 plus 9 is 90, and so this number here would be 91. All right, that one is also worked out, so we are finished with this column. Now here, notice that there is a common difference between these numbers here, so 4, 6, 8, we're adding 2, and when we're adding when we're using a common difference, it's always useful to just multiply the, the design number by the common difference. So if we multiply 2 times 1, we get 2, but our answer here is 4, which means that we're adding something to get our answer. So we say 2 plus 2 would give us 4. If we add 2 to our 2, we get 4. Let's try that pattern and see if it works here. So we say 2 times 2, 2 twos are 4. If we add 2 to it, we end up with 6. And if you try it again, 2 times 3, that's 6, plus 2, 8. So you notice that your pattern here is saying um, 2 times whatever n is, plus 2 more, gives you the, the generalization for the number of black disks. All right. The total number of disks is given by... An addition, notice here we have seven disks, so it's three plus four gives you seven. Seven plus six gives you thirteen. Thirteen plus eight gives you twenty-one and so forth. So by the time we get here, we are supposed to add n square plus n plus one plus two n plus two. And that gives us n square plus three n plus 3 and that would be the generaliza generalization for that all right so now we let's go ahead and fill out these things since we have 2n plus 2 here 
Our number here is 9, so we're going to go 2 times 9 plus 2. 2 times 9 makes 18. 18 plus 2 gives us 20 there. Here, notice that it says 20 times 20. So we know that this number is 20 since we are squaring the number that is here. And here we can just go ahead and say 2 times 20 plus 2, which gives us 40, plus 2, which is 42. And of course, on this side, we're going to add 421, since it's this column plus this column, 421 plus 42. Adding that gives us 364, so there we have 463. So we have filled out this um, table. Let me check. All right, yes, we have filled out the table. We have written down our generalization for n, and we have filled out the missing sections and have completed the table. Now there's one more part that says Stephen has 28 black disks and 154 white disks and wants to make design 12 explain why it's not possible for, for him to make design 12. So if he has 154 white plus 28 black, then his total number of disks here is um, 8 plus 4, that's 12, 5 plus 7, and 1, 8. So he has 182 disks. Um, by what we've learned, the generalization is n squared plus 3n plus 3 for the total number of disks. So n squared plus 3n plus 3 for the total number of disks. He wants to make pattern 12. So that would be 12 squared plus 3 times 12 plus 3, which means 144 plus 36 plus 3. And if we add that up, um, we end up with 13 here, 6 plus 4, 10, plus 3, 13, carry the 1 there, that's 8, and 1. So this is telling us that he's short by 1 disc, one disc sorry. so um, he cannot make pattern 12 because he doesn't have enough discs. There is another way to look at this as well. Um, if you look at the generalization for the number of white disks, it is n squared plus n plus 1. Um, so let me write that down, n squared plus n plus 1 for white. So using the 12, it's going to be 12 squared plus 12 plus 1, which is 144 plus 12 plus 1, 144 plus 12 plus 1 there. That gives us 7, 5, and 1. So he needs 157 white disks. And at present, he only has 154, so he's short there. So there's more than one approach to take when working this out um, to say whether or not he can make the design and why. The first instance, he doesn't have enough disks. It's going to take 183. He has 182, but he doesn't have enough of the type of disks either. So we can take that approach by looking at either the number of white disks or the number of black disks. These questions are normally fun and easy to do, and um, I encourage you to take full advantage of them by studying number patterns and these generalization things that help you to gain the most marks out of these kind of questions. Thank you for watching. Remember, you can find most more past papers and practice questions on the website at csecmathtutor.com. You can also find SBA material and other information that will help you to boost your performance and get a good grade in your CXE exam. Thank you for watching. Until next time.